Hello there, Virgos. Um, so they're coming to you and they're just utterly confused about the next step that they need to take in their lives. So they need some kind of like, uh, they need somebody to bounce ideas off of. So I don't feel in that case, it's people that are taking advantage of you. But if there's a specific person that has been, you know, over and over and over again, constantly asking you for um, help and things like that, and they're not taking initiative, I feel that it is really, a lot of you will be telling them off a lot of you are kind of like fighting back a lot of you are no longer enabling that type of behavior so let's go into your spread and um your final financial state this is a very very good prospect okay we do have here the king of pentacles which is basically one of the most stable uh car for finances um, it came out very, very early in the spread. So this is your energy. This is the energy that you're bringing to the entire month, which is one of practicality and financial stability. Um, whenever I see this card, this is a person that is really, really systematic. When they give advice, if you can impl implement their advice, whatever you touch is going to turn to gold. So you are in a position where you're dishing out a lot of good advice for other people. A lot of you might be dealing with people who are very, very emotionally depressed or who are going through a lot of anxieties. You're giving them ways, tools, strategies to cope with not only these mental issues that they're dealing with, but you're giving them like concrete ways in which they can overcome them and to restart their life. A lot of you might be doing this for a majority, like in a work situation, if you are like a mental health counselor or if you're um, if you deal with like human resources if you're dealing with a lot of distressed people you're giving them the tools to like um, help them out of difficult situations you're giving them the tools when they do not know how to take care of themselves when they they don't know how one of the main things I want you to be very mindful about is the way that the the cards fall out I read a lot of images with this deck okay the swords are going you know, crossing this person and also affecting you. Draw clear boundaries. Do not take on other people's problems and, you know, become wrapped up in other people's problems because you're in a very, very strong emotional state right now, but you are, you know, a really, really kind, loving sign and you want to be of help to other people and you want to give people practical considerations. If certain people are in this emotional state they're not re yet ready to implement your advice so rather than taking the reins you want to you know maybe wait it out and wait until they are at a point where they can actually take care of themselves and implement your advice in the future okay so don't push for a certain outcome you're giving people a lot of advice they're coming to you and they're very very distressed is what I'm sensing and you want to you know help everybody but just don't take on their burdens okay that's the only thing I'm sensing here I don't feel that you're dealing with mental energy mental anguish and things like that but um, I also want to say that a lot of you are taking on additional new work projects you're finishing up you're wrapping some things up and you might not be getting enough sleep okay um, something to be mindful about but the finance of uh, financial situation looks very good if you have been dealing with somebody that is um, very like either bipolar or they were dealing with a lot of emotional ups and down and I feel like for a lot of you this is a, an acquaintance um, for a few others of you this can play out as like a mother figure somebody within your home environment so mother figure father figures is what I'm sensing who might be emotionally very up and down and keep in mind this is a pentacle suit so it could be like um, coming in from also from your end if you've been juggling multiple things and you've been feeling quite distressed as a result of it I definitely feel situations alleviating if you're dealing with this person as an external energy like somebody coming through with a lot of emotional upheaval in their life who are like one minute you know very like emotionally very up and down I definitely feel that they also have some healing coming through and it is as a result of your hard work if you've been in a helping profession if you're working in the health, mental health capacity 
counseling or any type of you know financial planning for another person who is like hitting rock bottom I definitely feel they are going to be able to have some type of a major breakthrough when it comes to their emotional and mental state or even their physical health that situation will alleviate so you are basically the guardian angel showing up in their own life okay I feel like you're dealing with a lot of distressed people a lot of people who have very clouded energy and they need you to somehow sort out their life for them so it could be in a mental health profession or in a uh, financial like consul consultation type of a situation you're unraveling something for another person so that um, they can start to see how the pieces fit together and they can start to see the forest for the trees rather than being mired in this really, really um, troublesome emotional state. Okay, so good for you, Virgos. Um, in terms of your communication, we do have the Queen of Swords and the Eight of Cups. First message I'm getting out from these two cards is that I feel that you are drawing very clear boundaries and you're telling other people as well. I'm only going to help you if you're willing to help yourself. So, you know, I'll meet you halfway. If you don't want to help yourself, if you're feeling like constantly very sorry for yourself, I'm not going to help you with this situation. I feel so you're saying something like that where you're telling people, I will help you. You know, you're a very kind person and you don't, but you don't want to be taken advantage of. And if you feel like someone is being so dependent on you to sort out all the pieces in their lives, and I feel like this might pertain to family members, then you're not going to be able to help them because they are constantly like uh, pestering you. What should I do next? What do I need to do next? So there's a lot of hand holding that needs to ha that has happened in the past with other people constantly coming to you. So I feel like you're drawing up clear boundaries. Okay, for a lot of you, um, there might be a situation where you are dealing with an air sign. So this is Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra. And I do feel there is a walking away from this situation. And it might be something that you've invested a lot of time in, a lot of resources, a lot of just, you know, emotions in. But you're realizing that this situation is not going to pan out the way that you'd hope. And you are cutting your losses and moving on. Um, I do feel if you are dealing with an air sign for this month, so Aquarius, Gemini, and Libra, I'm feeling some sense of empowerment coming back into for this air sign, like a sense of empowerment coming in. Additionally, if you have been, you know, just like spiritually, emotionally drained in the past, I feel that you are drawing up your boundaries and you are basically cutting your losses when it comes to loss causes okay like lost causes if you've devoted your time in avenues and people that have not been working out then you're basically you know going through your books and um, trying to manage you know where can I cut corners or not exactly cutting corners but where can I cut back in my emotional or time investment where can I um, streamline work processes so a lot of superfluous things are being cut out of your life and you're you're the one that is implementing this um, process so that you have a lot more time to free up for your mental health okay mental health comes in very strongly for this month so I would say once again you know rather than asking what can I do to help everybody else you want to draw that energy back in towards you pull it back and um, figure out what you need to do to help yourself. I feel like for a lot of you, just uh, don't work yourself to the bone. Take care of your mental health. Do things that make you feel good, okay? Like grabbing friends and going out for drinks. Um, doing recreational activities. I feel like it's, um, it's a good month for you to start doing that. But take care of your mental health, okay? Now, in terms of the work environment, we have the Five of Cups as well as the Three of Pentacles. For a lot of you, the Five of Cups usually indicates to me some type of um, a situation in a work environment where somebody might be leaving, like somebody that you're very close to. Um, they might have found work, employment opportunities, or whatever other reason they're leaving the work environment. So there might be a celebra celebratory you know, get-together but then they're moving on to other things. So there is that sense of regret as well. And I feel like there are new people coming through that are taking, um, that are taking over that 
other person's job. So there is some type of an expansion opportunity in terms of the work environment. Either you know um, more branches are being added to the main job, more projects are being added, more people are being added. So you might have like cons other consultants coming through, other people being added to the work, work environment, other employees being added in. Um, but at the same time, I feel like, you know, other people are leaving. So it's a bittersweet process. On the one hand, they're moving on to better things. So you are happy for them. But on the other hand, you're going to miss their company around the work environment. Um, in terms of your own abilities to really um, feel, I guess, like uh, productive in the work environment, I feel for a lot of you, you're taking the lead in a situation because other people that you're working with are not qualified. I feel like there's lack of qualification, there's lack of emotional stability in their own life that will um, enable them to do their job well and to perform well. So this energy I feel could also be from your end if you feel that okay I, I'm, I'm not like mentally emotionally invested in this right now uh, take a mental health day you know do things that make you feel good and then come back and you're going to get more inspiration okay um, a lot of you are being consulted for some type of a major major um, operation so if you are in a uh, a job and you're kind of like the the top brass in your field, I feel like other people that are also in a position of power are coming to you and consulting you. Like, how do we fix this? I have this problem with this very very severe case. How would you fix it? And they're they're basically consulting you because you are you have a lot of experience and expertise. So even I feel like you're you might be very young and you're like on top of the you're like in a um, a career track. I feel like other people are grooming you. I also feel like other people that are a lot older and more experienced than you in the field. For some reason, I see them consulting you because you know you have some really strong I guess like uh, knowledge about what you're doing. So it looks very good, but I do feel that. Um, you want to just, you know, limit your time helping other people, let people take care of their own situations. I'm also feeling as well that there might be some mistakes that have been made in the work environment and, you know, surprise, surprise, um, you're called upon to fix them. But um, I feel that the people that are fixing them, um, the people that have caused the mistakes in the first place, I feel like they weren't in the right frame of mind. They don't, didn't have the knowledge to do it right the first time. So you're doing some damage control. Okay, Virgos. Um, overall, things look very good, though. You're in a very high position, and I feel like you're going to be in the spotlight. Speaking of spotlight, and sp this is your advice here. We have here the Six of Pentacles. So this is a card about recognition. Um, being in the public eye, being put in the spotlight, having that you know limelight shine on having the spotlight shine upon you and a lot of Virgos are very good at working behind the scenes but I feel like this is the month in which you're going to be getting a lot of recognition for all the extra work that you're, you've done in the past for your skills your knowledge and your expertise okay so be prepared there is some type of a either a public recognition ceremony in which you might be uh, called upon to either give a speech or to you know like give some type of um, Give some type of spiel about, you know, how I would do this, how I would do that, and how I would tackle this problem. So you're being thrust in the limelight, okay? And I feel that this is going to be a very good uh, month for you in terms of your public image. So a lot of success are coming through as well on the financial front, but also on the recognition front. Um, for others of you, let me see how these tie in together which indicates to me your hard work is going to really pay off and you're going to be in the limelight as a result of it. So very, very good month, Virgos. Make sure you get enough sleep. Don't take on other people's issues. Take care of your problems first, okay? And take care of your own responsibilities first. Let's see what is in store for you in terms of love and relationships. What's going on for Virgos in terms of love and relationships? for 
romance relationships, Virgo, for June 2016. Okay, give me a moment. One of the cards fell off the table. Okay, so we have here the High Priestess. You've got some really powerful cards. So we have the Hierophant and the High Priestess. Both of these deals with very, very uh, heavy karmic energy, okay? But in terms of like singles and um, those of you who are singles and dating, I do feel you're encountering a lot of very strong, um, you know, like alpha energies, okay? So it could be alpha male, alpha females, but I feel like very, very strong, clear-headed, and um, successful people as well, okay? So you have a lot of strong characters coming through on the dating front for this month, all right? Um, so I hope the reading has been, I'm going to leave it at that because I feel like your readings um, are always very like succinct and directed, okay? Uh, take care of yourself.